Yo, so this is going to be a good video. I'm going to discuss what I believe is the biggest mistake that truck drivers have been making for years now. And I'm on some more other stuff. Y'all know me, right? <laughs> But uh, I just want to just want to discuss this with y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. I actually think this is a mistake that truck drivers have been making in the past. Um, I actually believe that this is a mistake that less truck drivers now, like the newer breed of truck drivers, I feel like less of them are making the mistake that I'm going to talk about in this video, right? So if you are um, new to trucking, and you want to feel good about some things that you might be doing <laughs> continue to listen to the video you know a lot of the old timers is always bashing the new people right um in 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 that's in whatever industry whatever they doing but in this video i'm gonna give a little bit of uh i'm gonna give a little bit of props to the to the to the newer people that are coming into the trucking um profession because again i feel like there's a mistake that older truck drivers people that have been around for a while have been making and i think over time the course of more and more time i think that mistake is going to be the, the the evidence of the mistake that they have been making is going to be more and more prevalent right so follow me on this one right here okay so i'm gonna tell you a little story then i'm gonna get into the the, the whole the, the, the point of it all right and the story is dealing with what i want to talk about right mistakes that long time truck drivers have been making okay Okay, so I just now bought this house, all right? Um, just bought a house for me and my family. I'm, I'm married. I have a wife. I have uh, three children. I have a 20-year-old daughter, six-year-old daughter, oh, excuse me, six-year-old son and a 13-year-old daughter. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm married as well, okay? So we just bought our first house, all right? Um, 46 years old, okay? Part of me feel like I'm a little bit late to the party, but irregardless, we just bought our first house, and we're really enjoying the house, Okay. Um, really enjoying the house. Been in here for, for almost four months now. Now, the flip side of that, because I want to get right to the point, okay? I don't want to want to dabble around too much. The, there's, a, there's, a, there's a flip side of that, okay? And the flip side of that is the, the, there's more of a feeling now of feeling like I'm stuck driving a truck. When I was renting, all of the years that I was renting a house and driving a truck, I always felt like I could just stop driving the truck anytime I got ready to. Now, because of the because of the bills that I have here at the house, I don't have many other bills other than that. Me and my wife don't have um, personal, we don't have a bunch of excess crazy debt, okay? Um, but my housing expense did go up as a result of buying the house. Now... I didn't I didn't I didn't bite off more than I can chew, but I'm gonna talk about that in one second. But the point is there's there's a there's a feeling more present now within me that man I, f I feel like I'm 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 stuck. Okay? Like if I wanna stop driving the truck, I, I, I doing that wouldn't be as easy as it would have been when I was renting. Okay. So, you know, I feel like there's a lot of truck drivers that feel like they're stuck driving the truck. Okay? Um, you, I've spoken to truck drivers before and I, you know, and I'll ask them something to the effect of if you weren't driving a truck, what would you be doing? Okay. Um, what else would you be doing if you wasn't driving the truck? And they're like, you know, I get answers like, I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't driving the truck. I don't know how to do anything else other than driving a truck. I've been doing it for so long. I don't know how to, I don't know how to make as much money as I'm making driving the truck now doing anything else so i'm not sure what else I, I don't know what else i could do other than driving the truck okay and you know while there's a good side to that the other side to that is that's kind of the basis of a of a feeling of like i'm stuck in driving a truck so i guess one of the things that an individual that's just getting into the profession would always need to consider from day one is serious interruptions to their income you got to always be considering what you know what happens if there's a serious disruption to my income. Now there's a couple of things that you can do and a couple of them are obvious. One you need to be saving money, you've heard that before. Two you need to be handling your debts correctly, not taking on more than you can handle and making sure you pay off the debts that you have. Um you've heard that before. But the third part of that you probably haven't heard much about and that is 
planting other seeds, looking to grow your income outside of just driving the truck, looking to acquire skill sets or looking to acquire skills that will allow you to make money in other ways other than just driving the truck. And this is why, like right now with the house that me and my family just bought, I don't feel like we overextended ourselves. Um, so, so, so like it, as you're hearing this, if you're thinking, well, maybe you bought more house than you can afford, that's not the issue. It's only, you know, I can pay all of my personal bills here at the house for about $6,000 a month. So I don't feel like it's impossible to go out and find another way outside of trucking to pay my personal bills. I do feel like it would be a little bit difficult working a job for somebody else to cover my personal bills. So I'm starting to kind of feel what some truck, driver, truck drivers say. I don't know what else I could do to make enough money. Like I'm talking about working for somebody else as a job to make enough money to cover personal bills, which again leads to, well, Darren, I'm, you kind of feel stuck driving a truck. I know I probably could go out and find a job covering my personal bills, but I mean, like some people say, well, man, look, if you really wanted to stop driving a truck, you still got that option. You could just go out and drive for somebody else and make $1,500 a week. Um, I would first say to that, that if I wanted to bring home 1500 a week, I'd have to be making 2000 a week. And I know that making 1500 to 2000 a week ain't that easy as a company, as a company driver, right? Plus there's other perks and benefits that I would lose along with that as well. So the point that I'm saying, the point that I'm making is I, I, there's this feeling of it wouldn't be that easy to go out and get a job and work for somebody else and still continue to keep the party going here at the house, okay? So it's like, I gotta keep on driving now. Now, for me, being that my personal bills aren't out of control, again, I mean, I'm young enough and I'm, and I'm, and I'm ambitious enough that I can, with enough focus, I feel like I can create something outside of me driving the truck that will cover all of my personal bills, okay? I definitely feel like I can do that. But some people, after driving a truck for 10 or 12 years, man, they're not that ambitious. They don't want to do anything when they get out of the truck. And that's kind of understandable because driving a truck takes a lot of energy it takes a lot out of you whether you're otr or whether you are or whether you're local and if you're in that situation where you've been driving for a while 10 12 15 years and you've you've gotten accustomed to the lifestyle the personal lifestyle that you live which requires you to make a, a decent amount of money more than you feel like you can go and you know just easily replace and then you get to the point that you don't want to drive anymore for whatever reason then you you don't have an option to just to just stop driving okay i've always said before that it's likely it's not guaranteed but it's likely that you the person watching this video that's driving a truck right now you're probably going to get to the point at a certain point in your career that you either don't want to drive the truck anymore or you can't drive the truck anymore it's not guaranteed that you're going to experience that but it's likely and when you get to that point however long that is into your trucking journey you want to have options and again, like I already spoke about, you know, the, the, the most obvious thing, you know, it's simple. Well, I need to make sure I'm saving my money while I'm while I'm in trucking so that when that happens, I'll have some money put away. But money put away doesn't make you feel secure about parking your truck. Having a pile of money in the bank never made me feel secure about experiencing a serious disruption to my income. You know, again, you know, what happens if you can't do it? If something happens with your health? What happens if your home situation changes? What happens if, you know, you're out on the road all the time and the kids are going wild at the house and you need to be home for whatever reason? There's a whole host of different reasons why truckers change their perspective over the years about how they feel about trucking. The point is, when and if you get to that point, you want to have options. So savings is important, managing your debt so you don't have a bunch of bills that you can't cover outside of trucking is another part that's important. But the most important thing that you don't hear many people talking about is planting seeds outside of trucking, acquiring a skill set, something that you can do if you had to if you had to park the truck, something that you can do well into retirement. You know, um, again, like thinking, thinking, always thinking about what happens if there's a disruption to my income so what can you do to continue making money you got to put a lot away a lot of money in order to earn enough of a, of a return on your money to be able to live off of especially if you 
want to live a halfway decent lifestyle with everything being expensive as as it is so your best bet to avoid being feeling getting to the point one day that you feel like you're stuck in the truck which can happen to anybody that's been out on the road for a while and and not doing the right things your best defense against that is from day one to be to be building your skill set to be to to not keep all of your eggs in one basket this is something that truck drivers have done for years now probably because trucking has been a great um a great way to you know I, I go i drive the truck i come home i don't have to do anything else i can i can i can afford to just do trucking plus like i said it takes so much energy to go out and do trucking it's kind of understandable to me that truckers would come home in the evening or in, and not feel like doing anything <laughs> until they get back in back into the truck but this is a mistake that i feel like truckers have been making and the more time rolls on the more i feel like the evidence of that mistake is gonna it's going to continue to come out. I'm thinking about what's going on with these guys out in California, this AB5 rule. I don't understand all of it, but I do know that, you know, people up there, those drivers are protesting out there because the situation, the circumstances have changed on them. Like I said, there's either going to come a day where you either can't do it or you don't want to do it. Okay. And a lot of it might not be in your, might not be in your control. So if you get to that, again, get into that situation and you've been saving your money, and you got a, a, a you know decent pile of money put up unless it's enough to be able to pay all of your bills if your income stops then the fear that you still got an issue that you still got to handle okay so like from day one be looking to plant those other seeds and develop that other skill set and build that other skill set and, and, and keep some momentum going there as well because things are volatile things aren't just volatile in trucking things are volatile in the world that we're in right now and i would say that for anybody in any profession that you're in whether you own your own business whether you work for somebody else we're past the point now where you can put all your eggs in one basket we're past the point now where you can just depend on one source of income specifically one source of anything but specifically when we're talking about when we're talking about income because we're talking about feeding your family we're talking about putting gas in your car we're talking about keeping the lights on we're talking about serious subject like that you got to make sure that you do everything to take the bull by the horns and not leave your future in the hands of somebody else and one of the best ways that you can do that is to diversify is to have more than one source of income I heard Les Brown say before it's a poor rat that has one hole to go and get cheese out of my personal perspective is no matter how much money you make from your income I don't care what you do you need to have something else that you do in addition to that I think Robert Kiyosaki in the book rich dad poor dad called it having your job but also minding your business having your thing that you do to, to you know uh, um, um, to finance your day to day but also have that other thing that you're building and who knows what may happen with the main thing that you have the economy may change the markets may change prices may change demand may change there's so many things that are out of our control that could change our sort our income that could affect our income that could that could be a disruption to our income and so we want to be insulating ourselves from that you got to make sure that we're we're we're, we're building we're planting other seeds we're building something outside of driving the truck so that if the day comes where we can't do it or we don't want to do it, we got options. I appreciate you hanging out with the helpful trucker. If you got value from this video, check out one of these other videos right here. You'll probably get value from them as well.